Let's solve another thermodynamics problem involving uh, heat and work in a closed system. Five pounds mass of propane is contained in a closed rigid tank, initially at 80 PSIA and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Heat transfer occurs until the final temperature in the tank is zero degrees Fahrenheit. Kinetic and potential energy effects are negligible. Show the initial and final states on a TV diagram and determine the amount of energy transfer by heat and BTUs. So let's lay out our storyboard for this problem. I'll draw a schematic of a rigid tank filled with propane. And I'm gonna draw my boundary just around the propane molecules. And as always, uh, heat transferring energy into the system is a positive Q. We know that the uh, uh, problem uh, describes a cooling process from state one to state two, where state one is given uh, as 80 PSI and 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and state two has a final temperature of zero degrees Fahrenheit, and the mass of the system was given as five pounds mass. Let's draw a TV diagram. We'll start with a, uh, our vapor dome. And let's lay in uh, state one. Now state one is at 80 PSI and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's draw an 80 PSI constant pressure line on this TV diagram. That would be this line right here. This is a constant pressure line at 80 PSI. And if I look in the saturation table for propane at 80 PSI, I'll find that its saturation temperature is 41.1 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's this horizontal line here. Now the temperature of state one is actually at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is higher than this saturation temperature. So that means state one is a superheated vapor and I'm gonna draw it up here. Now the process uh, is a uh, constant volume process being a rigid tank. And so it's gonna follow a vertical line straight down to state two, which is uh, at zero degrees Fahrenheit. And I don't know at this point whether state two is a saturated mixture or if it actually ended up here uh, above the vapor dome where it would still be a superheated mixture. Uh, if it's a saturated mixture, then uh, V2 will be to the left of uh, V sub G at zero degrees Fahrenheit. And if it's still a superheated, then the specific volume at state two would be to the right of V sub G. And I haven't calculated that yet. Uh, so I'm just gonna make an assumption that this is a saturated mixture. If the assumption is incorrect, I'll redraw the diagram. Our engineering model is that uh, we're modeling a closed system where delta Ke and delta Pe are assumed to be zero. It's a constant volume and a constant specific volume system. And since the tank has no mechanism for doing work, uh, work for this process is zero. And what we wanna find is the heat transfer that takes place uh, between state one and state two. Okay, let's find uh, some properties for state one. I wanna know the internal energy and the specific volume. I know that state one is superheated, so I'm gonna to go to the propane superheat table at 80 PSI and 110 degrees Fahrenheit, where I'm gonna find these properties for state one. The specific volume is 1.599 cubic feet per pound mass, and the uh, specific internal energy is 210.9 BTUs per pound mass. Now let's find some properties for state two. I wanna find U at V, so I'm gonna to go to the saturation table at zero degrees Fahrenheit. And I, I know the temperature is zero degrees, and I also know, because the process takes place in a rigid tank, that the specific volume at state two is equal to the specific volume at state one, which is 1.599 cubic feet per pound mass. And I'm gonna use this to determine whether or not uh, the state two is really saturated or whether it's superheated. So from the saturation table, I'm gonna get a value for V sub G and V sub F. And I've noted those here. And let's note that V2, which is 1.599, is less than V sub G, which is 2.7. 
So we see that the specific volume at state two is greater than V sub F, but less than V sub G. And therefore, it is a saturated mixture. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab uh, the values of internal energy from the table. Uh, U sub F is 21.98 BTUs per pound mass, and U sub G is 174.01 BTUs per pound mass. So I'm able to calculate uh, from these values the quality at state two. It's just its specific volume minus V sub F over V sub G minus V sub F. I have all of these values from the table. And I get the quality at state two is 58.78%. Uh, Knowing the quality, now I can calculate the internal energy. Um, U sub two is just U sub F plus the quality times U sub G minus U sub F. Again, I'll plug in these values. And I get U sub two is 111.34 BTUs per pound mass. Now let's calculate the energy moved. Uh, actually, it's, we assume that uh, Q is positive if it moves energy into the system uh, by heat transfer, but we know already that this is a cooling process. So I expect to get a negative value of Q. So the uh, first law states that Q is uh, delta U plus W. We've already said that W is zero. So I can rewrite uh, the heat transfer Q is just the mass times the change in internal energy. So Q is equal to the mass, which is five pounds mass, times U2 minus U1, which uh, we got these values from the previous exploration. And we calculate a heat transfer of 497.8 BTUs, a negative 497.8 BTUs. So we know that Q is positive when energy is transferred into the system. Negative simply means that uh, energy is transferred out of the system, which it would indicate a cooling process as we had said. 